Hello, in the previous video, we saw what is viscous flow and also the three different cases of viscous flow. Today, in this video, we will be solving some numericals based on the viscous flow. The first question is, for a laminar flow of an oil having dynamic viscosity 1.766, Newton second per meter square that is mu is given which is 1.766 pascal second that is Newton second per meter square in a 0.3 meter diameter pipe the diameter given to us is 0.3 meter the velocity distribution is parabolic with a maximum point velocity 3 meter per second at the center of the pipe that is u max is given which is 3 meter per second calculate the shear stress at 90 mm from the pipe wall we need to find tau at 90 mm from the pipe wall first of all we'll find the average velocity so we have u max by u average is equal to 2 for circular pipes as we had derived this 3 upon u average will be equal to 2 therefore we get u average is equal to 3 by 2 that is 1.5 Then we also know the equation for pressure drop which is P1 minus P2 is equal to 32 mu u average L upon d square. This I will write it as P1 minus P2 upon L is equal to 32 mu u average upon d square. Now this P1 minus P2 upon L that is my pressure gradient. So I will write it as del P by del X and here I am putting minus sign because minus of p2 minus p1 upon l is equal to del p by del x therefore it will be minus del p by del x is equal to 32 mu u average upon d square now we already know all the values so it will be 32 into mu is 1.766 u average is 1.5 and d square 0.3 whole square so we have got the value for minus del p by del x which comes out to be 941.87 pascal per meter. Now we need to find the shear stress at 90 mm from the pipe wall. So let's understand that from this diagram we had taken an element for the case of circular pipe where I had shown you this that y is equal to r minus r. Now here it is given that shear stress is 90 mm from the pipe wall that is small r will be r minus y. And what is my y? It is 90 mm. So tau is equal to minus del p by del x into r by 2 941.87 into instead of r it will be capital R minus y now capital R is d by 2 that is 0.3 by 2 which is 0.15 so it will be 0.15 minus y is 90 mm so 0 0.09 writing it in meter divided by 2 therefore we'll get tau is equal to 28.256 pascal let's see another question an oil of viscosity 0.1 newton second per meter square viscosity is given mu is equal to 0.1 newton second per meter square relative density is given which is 0.9 therefore density will be 0.9 into 1000 so it is 900 meter kilogram per meter cube then we are having the diameter which is 50 mm so 50 divided by 1000 it will be equal to 0 0.05 meter and length is 300 meter then we are having the rate of flow of fluid through the pipe which is 3.5 liters per second which is 3.5 divided by 1000 that is it will be 0 0.0035 meter cube per second now we already know the equation for pressure drop which is p1 minus p2 is equal to 32 mu u bar l upon d square but before we find the pressure drop 
we'll have to check whether this flow is laminar flow or not. For that, we'll use Reynolds number. Re is equal to rho Vd upon mu. We'll have to find the velocity. Rho we are having. Velocity is equal to discharge upon area. Discharge we have. And for area, it is pi by 4 d square. This will be 0 0.0035 divided by pi by 4 into 0 0.05 whole square. Therefore, we get u bar is equal to 1.782 meter per second. So now, Re is equal to 900 into 1.782 into diameter which is 0 0.05 meter and mu is 0.1 newton second per meter square. So we get R is equal to 801.9 which is less than 2000 therefore it is laminar flow and now we can proceed and find the pressure drop. So P1 minus P2 is equal to 32 mu u bar L upon D square 32 into 0.1 into 1.782 into 300 divided by 0 0.05 whole square so it comes out to be 684288 newton per meter square if we write it in newton per centimeter square then we'll have to multiply it by 10 raised to minus 4 so it will be 684288 into 10 raised to minus 4 which is equal to 68 0.43 newton per centimeter square let's see another question what power is required per kilometer of a line to overcome the viscous resistance to the flow of glycerine through a horizontal pipe of diameter 100 mm at the rate of 10 liter per second the dynamic viscosity is 8 poise and kinematic viscosity is 6 stokes now here Length is given to us which is 1 kilometer because it is asked power required per kilometer of a line. Then diameter is 100 mm, 100 by 1000, so 0 0.1 meter. Discharge is 10 liter per second, 10 by 1000, which is 0 0.01 meter cube per second. Mu is equal to 8 poise. Converting poise to Newton second per meter square, so we'll have to divide it by 10. So mu will be equal to 0.8 newton second per meter square and kinematic viscosity is 6 stokes so it will be 6 centimeter square per second writing it in meter square per second it is 6 into 10 raised to minus 4 now we need to find the power required per kilometer of a line to overcome the viscous resistance so power required is equal to weight of oil flowing per second into loss of pressure head that is it will be weight of fluid flowing per second which is rho vg by t and v by t is equal to discharge so it will be rho g q into hf now we already know the equation for hf which is 32 mu u bar L upon rho g d square. Before we find the power required, we'll need to find the average velocity. This rho g rho g will get cancelled and we'll have 32 q mu u bar L upon d square. Now u average is equal to discharge upon area. Discharge is 0 0.01 and area is pi by 4 into 0 0.1 square. So it will be 1.273 meter per second. Now we can find the power required which is equal to Q is 0 0.01 into 32 into mu is 0 0.8 into U average 1.273 L is 1000 upon D square D is 0.1 on solving this we get power required equal to 
थ्री टू फाइव एट एट पॉइंट एट वॉट्स डिवाइडिंग एट बाई थाउजेंड विल गेट एट एन किलो वॉट सो इट विल बी थर्टी टू पॉइंट फाइव एट एट किलो वॉट्स लेट्स सी अनदर क्वेश्चन हेयर इट इज गिवन दैट दैर इज अ हॉरिजोंटल क्रैक फोर्टी एम एम वाइड एंड टू पॉइंट फाइव एम एम डीप सो द वेट गिवन टू एस इज फोर्टी एम एम द डेप्थ दैट इज द थिकनेस टी इज इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट फाइव एम एम इन अ वॉल ऑफ थिकनेस हंड्रेड एम एम वॉल थिकनेस इज हंड्रेड एम एम विच मीन्स दैट एल इज हंड्रेड एम एम वेन एवर यू सी दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन विच इट इज गिवन दैट दर इज अ हॉरिजोंटल क्रैक इट मीन्स दैट दिस इज द केस ऑफ फ्लो बिटवीन टू पैरल प्लेट्स देन वाटर लीक्स थ्रू द क्रैक फाइंड द रेट ऑफ लीकेज ऑफ वाटर थ्रू द क्रैक इफ द डिफरेंस ऑफ द प्रेशर बिटवीन द टू एंड ऑफ द क्रैक इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू नाइन फोर थ्री न्यूटन पर सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेयर ना द प्रेशर डिफरेंस विच इज पी वन माइनस पी टू इज गिवन टू एस एस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू नाइन फोर थ्री न्यूटन पर सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेयर विच इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू नाइन फोर थ्री इंटू टेन रेस टू फोर दैट इज टू नाइंटी फोर पॉइंट थ्री न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वेयर विस्कोसिटी इज ऑल्सो गिवन टू एस विच इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन पॉइस विल राइट इट इन न्यूटन सेकेंड पर मीटर स्क्वेयर फॉर दैट विल जस्ट डिवाइड इट बाई टेन सो वी गेट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन न्यूटन सेकेंड पर मीटर स्क्वेयर नाउ वी नो द इक्वेशन फॉर पी वन माइनस पी टू फॉर फ्लो ऑफ विस्कस फ्लूड बिटवीन टू पैरल प्लेट्स which is 12 mu u bar l upon d square this equation will be using and will find the average velocity this t will represent that the plates are d apart that is that will be our d so 12 into mu is 0.001 into u bar into l is 0.1 divided by 0.025 whole square Now on solving this, P one minus P two is given as equal to two ninety four point three, and we'll get U bar equal to one point five three two eight meter per second. From this, we'll find the discharge. That is, it is asked to us in the question to find the rate of leakage, which is discharge is equal to U bar into area. U bar is Here the area of the cross section of the crack will consider. Therefore, we get Q is equal to one point five three two eight into area of cross section of the crack, which is B into T, or you can say B into D. You can represent it by T or by D. So this will be one point five three two eight into zero point zero four into zero point zero two five, which is one point five three two eight into ten raised to minus four meter cube per second. Writing it in liters per second, it will be point one five three eight. The next question is an oil of viscosity zero point zero two newton second per meter square, mu is given to us, flows between two stationary parallel plates which are. One meter wide and maintain ten mm apart. That is, the plates are d apart, which means that d given here is ten mm, so it will be zero point zero one meter. Width is one meter. The velocity midway between the plates is two meter per second. Midway between the plates, we have the maximum velocity. So it will be u max is equal to two meter per second. We need to calculate the average velocity, the discharge, and the pressure gradient along the flow. Firstly, we'll calculate u average. We already know that u max by u average is equal to one point five for the case of parallel plates. So we'll get u average is equal to two upon one point five, which is one point three three meter per second. Now we'll find the discharge. Discharge is equal to U average into area. 
area will be b into d u average we have found which is 1.33 b is 1 meter and d is 0 0.01 meter 1.33 into 1 into 0 0.01 so we'll get discharge equal to 0 0.0133 meter cube per second the last thing we need to find is the pressure gradient we know the equation for pressure drop which is p1 minus p2 is equal to 12 mu u bar l upon d square now if i write this as p1 minus p2 upon l then it will be equal to 12 mu u bar upon d square and this p1 minus p2 upon l that is minus del p by del x which is my pressure gradient 12 into mu is 0 0.02 u average is 1.33 d is 0 0.01 on solving this we get the pressure gradient which is equal to 3192 newton per meter square all of these examples that i have solved today in this video you'll find the solution pdf on my website i'll provide the link in description if you are having any doubt while you're solving any other question any multiple choice question preparing for the competitive exam then you can just mail me you can write it in comment my mail id is it is civil engineering at the rate gmail.com you can even use the contact us form given on my website thank you